Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get too excited. <laughs> Thanks for the applause. Uh, I was looking, waiting to see. There's some others coming up, but we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I think the girls have got their second burst of energy. They've been out here playing this afternoon, having fun, but uh, when you're that young, you get that, get that energy back real quick, so they're good to go. So thank all y'all for coming out. We appreciate uh, We've seen some faces that was out last year when the young ladies was here. And there's some new faces out, so we do appreciate you coming out and uh, supporting them. Uh, all the way from Ohio. They're headed north after this for tomorrow. Uh, so things uh, things are going good for them, they're telling us. But uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Looks like they're ready to go. I like to open up with prayer. Uh, I'm sorry to you all. And, just ask for a good evening, good fellowship, good music. Let us pray. And Father, we come to you this day and we give you thanks for such a beautiful day you've given us, weather-wise, health-wise, Father, friendship. Father, we thank you for the time we can be here and enjoy the talent, the gift you've given these young ladies. Father, we thank you for their parents who have encouraged them and guided them to do your will through song and the ministry they're doing and the lives they're touching. Father, we we know it's of you. Father, we give you thanks for it. Father, we thank you for it. each one that's come out. We thank you that they was given their time to come out and support here these young ladies. Father, we ask that they take the joy that they received tonight and share it with others. Father, we ask that they take the message in the song and share it, Father. Father, we just ask for a great evening. We ask your blessing. All glory and honor go to you, Father. We ask it in the precious Son's name, of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm going to turn it over to them. Well, good evening. good evening. How many come out to hear some good gospel music? You know what, out of all the places you could have been, right, you decided to pack up that good old sturdy lawn chair that you put your faith in, right, to hold you up. Sometimes we just need to put our faith right in the good Lord and our, our chair said, Lord, thank you for this chair that I can sit in today. Come on, we got to thank you for the little things. So by the time the big things come, we just say, Lord, you get all the glory. You get all the honor. You get all the praise. I will just first off say, uh, last weekend we were ministering. Katie had allergy-induced asthma. She lost her voice completely. And little Lily said, you know what? She said, I'll step in. She said, I'll sing her parts. And we were like, Lord, you're going to have to help us. We never had this situation before in almost three years. So little Lily filled in, and she done all her parts. And, and we were so thankful for that. But Katie's voice is still recovering. And we are just giving God the glory, honor, and praise that we are able Amen. to be here to minister for you guys this evening. So... I'm going to have little Lily to step up first, and I'm going to have her to sing a song for you guys. But can you um, give them a Bible scripture maybe, Lily? Is that all right? Yeah? You want to tell them what's your favorite Bible scripture? Or how about a joke? Anyone want to hear Lily tell a joke tonight? All right. Give them what you got, girl. What's Eve's favorite food? Anybody? Ribs. <laughs> now Lily likes some good old jokes. You want to tell them the other joke you got? How does Moses make his coffee? He brews it. <laughs> All right. Well, we just want to worship with you guys this this evening and see what God has in store. But first off, we just need to mention that we love Him tonight.
He said, let there be sound, and there was sound. So you know what? I'm just thankful that we can be here tonight. The girls, they got to come early and play on everything you see out here. But, but luckily, they saved enough energy so that they can minister tonight. Last year, we were coming out, and we had our 98 Winnebago. We were um, stuck at a Kroger with a flat tire for four hours before coming out last year. So this year, we're thankful that God provided us a better sort of uh, transportation. Aren't you thankful that He provides for you what you need, when you need it, and not a moment too soon, right? Because if He would give us everything we wanted as soon as we wanted it, or thought we needed, we wouldn't appreciate everything right when it came. So we are just thankful that we are able to be washed in the blood. Anyone thankful to be washed in the blood tonight? Amen. This next song we're going to sing, and if you've been washed in the, by the blood of the Lamb, you've got the right to praise Him. You've got the right to shout. Amen. All this world may, may be looking dark all around you, and, and they may not have anything to shout about, but guess what? we got the, the Spirit of the Lord on the inside of us that's taking care of us, that's coming through for us time and time again. We've got the right to praise Him tonight. Now this song says, are you walking in the blood? Yeah. 
even when I don't feel like it. That's a word for someone here tonight because our emotions, right, will get us in a mess real quick. If Noah didn't feel like building the ark, if half the people in the Bible or 99% of them didn't feel like doing something, right? But, but see, we're going to have trials, tribulation. We're going to have emotions come on us. But like I said, what are we going to do about it in the middle of it? Right? Are we going to give in to the emotions or are we going to stand in the power of God's might? Come on and sing that old song that says, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. That's a word for someone. I'm going to have Lily step up and sing this song. And it says that my Lord is taking good care of me. Aren't you glad he's taking good care of you? Even when you don't deserve it. Even when you don't, you don't feel like everything's going your way. Honey, God's taking good care of you. He got your feet on solid ground this morning. And he brought you here tonight. started minister and people often ask us how did you get started doing this and and you know ministry is something that's always been within us but we didn't even know what it was right has God ever placed a gift inside of you that you didn't know what it was or know how to use it but it's always been there right he shapes you and molds you into who he's created you to be and so as the girls were babies we were in our little country church and that was perfectly fine with us knowing all 30 people that was great you know um, but I will tell you, it got to a place that as we were ministering to those people, God said that he was calling us into something deeper. He said, do you trust me? And I said, yes. He said, good, because you're going to have to trust me with everything that you have. He said, because this next thing that you're stepping into, you're not going to know what to do, right? So I said, God, how do we get an appointment? I had no idea what we were doing, right? We just earthling vessels doing the work of the Lord. And, and he began to tell us what to do. And that appointment didn't start in some big capacitated church, a big facility. It didn't start in anything like that. It started somewhere little. It started somewhere so little as a place of McDonald's. Come on. That was our first place we ever ministered at, truly. Because God said, you see those people over there? And I said, yes. He said, I want you to go minister to them. He said, you want to know where ministry begins? I want you to minister to them. And at the time, my oldest was 8 and 10. 
And I looked at my oldest and I said, God wants us to go minister to these people. And she looks at me like, you know we at McDonald's, right? And I said, oh, honey, I know where we're at, but I know what God's saying. Let's go do this. You know, sometimes we just need someone to say, come on, let's do this. I'm right with you. Whatever God says, like, I'll be back up. I'll be a joint. I'll be a willing vessel. Whatever it is for the kingdom of God, I'll be that. Let's do that. And so guess what? That's a part of unity, a body of Christ coming together. And, and she kind of moved her little 10-year-old feet about like this going because she was nervous. It was out of her comfort zone. Anyone in here or out here ever been outside of your comfort zone? See, God wants to take you outside of that comfort zone where you're going to have to fully depend on him more than you ever have to make it work because you don't have all the answers you don't have everything but as long as you're connected to the one who does you can do all things so we begin to minister to those people right there in mcdonald's they weren't all sinners they weren't all saints but they were god's children that needed minister to he was going to reach down wherever they was to make it happen that day those people begin to cry and they said, oh my goodness, we got out of church just a little bit ago. Anyone like to go to McDonald's or somewhere to eat after church? Or are we the only ones? So we went there and, and they said, do you have a business card or something? And I said, honey, we got a chicken nugget box and we got a crayon. See, we didn't have those business cards. We didn't have that. We had what God gave us, right? So, so many people want the big things before the little things. But God said, what are you going to do with the things that are placed in your hands? What are you going to work with with the things that you're holding on to right now and I believe he will multiply your nothing to make something right like the fishes and the loaves he's a, a God of multiplication he's a God that can do exceedingly abundantly above all you can think ask or even imagine he's a God that always comes through that's for someone here tonight I'm gonna see if Katie will step up and sing this next song and it says thank God that I'm free anyone remember where you were before Jesus reached down and pulled you up out of that dark Darkness, that pit that you were in, oh me, would have whooped a, a, a lot of things. Come on, I was 16 years old and I was trying to whoop a 300 pound man because where I come from was crazy. Where I come from was crazy. But you know, God broke generational curses. He said, I didn't have to be an alcoholic because my father was. I didn't have to be clinically insane because my parents were. I didn't have to be that way, but he broke those things. Come on. That's for someone here tonight. So if you're thankful that you free, if you're thankful where God's brought you from, you've got the right to praise him tonight. For a long time I tried He's all 
Come on, but you're going to walk right on through and he's going to be right there. He's going to be with you. Come on. And I believe you may not need a healing. Come on. You may need whatever the need is. Can someone else just grab a hold of that? Because guess what? What we're in need of, he's able to do it. But the, I didn't know that an affliction of lupus was on me when I was born. See, that was an infirmity that uh, grabbed a hold of me from the day I was born. But guess what? When I was right about 27 years old, I went to the doctor and got a diagnosis. And they said, I, listen. They said, all these test results, all the lab results is coming back high levels for lupus. And I'm sorry that I can't fix you, but I can give you something that can help your symptoms. And I said, God, I know that you, I know what your word says. So I had a moment that I could take what the doctor said, or I could take what his word said for who it was. And can I tell you, I had a breakdown moment in my car all by myself, a pity party, and nobody else had to be there, but it was me. Come on, that pity party. And I know the Lord was in the middle of there. He let me have that pity party. But guess what? He said, you done yet? And I said, yes. He said, good. Now this thing, you know what it is. You can tell it to get up out of your way because you got work to do. Come on. You got work to do. See, this is just a stumbling block. Whatever the need is, guess what? It's a stumbling block. And when you begin to leap over it and it begins to crumble, guess what? It's a stepping stone to destiny. And I begin to press through. There was religious people saying, if you had faith to receive, wouldn't you have received by now? But God said, do not let that penetrate your heart because it takes more faith for you to continuously come to me than it would be to give up on the edge of a breakthrough. Oh, come on, someone may be feeling breakdown, but right there's breakthrough. Aren't you glad that he's able to move the mountains, split them like the Red Sea, that we ain't overcome, but greater is he. Come on, I'm thankful that he's, he's fighting for me when I can't fight for myself. He's allowing me to stand when I can't stand for myself. But God's wanting some desperate praise. He's wanting some desperate like the woman with the issue of blood she didn't care what she looked like that day she was gonna she was gonna reach his hymn and, and she was gonna touch virtue power come on someone needs that tonight but I'm gonna have the girls to sing this next song and it says that God's not through with you yet aren't you so glad that if you ever felt like giving up that he was right there I remember being 14 years old and I heard a voice that said you you might as well not get up from this mess because you'll just be a product of your environment of where you come from but then I heard another voice say don't quit yet you gotta stand up because there's more to it than this and there's more connected to it than this moment and I'm so glad see I was ignorant to the voice of God and I thought that I was encouraging myself but when I gave everything over to God guess what he reminded me he said do you remember those times you thought it was you encouraging yourself I said yes he said it was me it was me the whole time that was telling you to get up and encouraging you to keep on going so this song is to encourage somebody tonight that God's not through with you yet Thank you. 
you were all alone Then I'd give you enough to fight That you can't walk through the night Well, let me encourage you Just sing on, we'll see it through Don't give up, don't give in Endure till the end God's not through with you yet Just look up and don't forget He's old the story see we went to a place about four hours from where we live and and they sent us to a, a doctor for the lupus and he said listen I'm seeing all the the test results and everything's high levels for lupus he said but I want to do my own results he said I want to do the test again can I tell you deep down after pressing through and I knew God had touched my body I didn't really need the the report but guess what? He did it again. Two weeks later, I got the results back, and everything was negative for lupus. Come on. See, God's still in the healing business. He's still in the miracle business. I don't care what the need is. God can move the mountain. Come on. He can move the mountain. He has all power. Just as he said, let there be light, right? He spoke it into existence. So I don't care what you have placed within your hands today. I believe if you place it into the master's hands, right? He, he can take that need and he can multiply it to abundance. And he wants to prove everything connected to you that he is God. Come on, he is God. I'm going to have him to sing this. And it says we got a lot to be thankful for. Anyone else been through... Uh, uh, 2020 come on <laughs> we got a lot to be thankful for and you sitting here today you know there was a um, limited supply but he still supplied to the last ply right come on we got a little desperate but it's like you know what Lord you're gonna come through just like you did for the Hebrew children come on he's gonna come through and we got a lot to be thankful for
you curly she can about outrun any of these girls and and she got popcorn lily said so lily's got her eye on the popcorn but how many knows ultimately we gotta have our eyes on jesus now more than ever right but she's gonna sing this next song and a lot of times we go to the churches and they all sing it and and she'll give us that look like they sing in my song but I said, Curly Honey, this song's very old, and um, a lot of people love to sing this song. So this song is I'll Fly Away. <laughs> chilly weather. Anyone else? And I, I think it kind of comes with age. Anyone who knows me, my husband's like, man, 
I used to love the hot burning summer days and as we get older I'm like you know what I'm loving some fall and some fuzzy socks and give me a cozy blanket because that's what it is but I'm so thankful right that that he's brought us so far and can everyone give my husband over here a nice hand clap He's our driver, he packs our sound, he packs his heavy sound equipment. Can you imagine any of us packing this sound equipment or driving that RV? Come on, it just wouldn't happen. But, but when we come together as a body of Christ, picking up where someone else can't, right? Say, I'll carry you on my back if I have to, but you're going to get there. So you know what, we just thank you guys so much. Well, I guess he's wanting us to do one more song for the offering. So I'm going to get the girls to go ahead and do that for you. They don't, they don't want to hear me. Uh, has everyone enjoyed it tonight? Yeah! Yeah! You know, most of you, I know, and probably all of you believe in God. You, the, the gospel music and all here, you come out for it. Amen. But if there's ever a doubt, I think you can leave here and go through the gates and realize there's no doubt there's a God. Amen. Because when you look at the talent and all that's been given to these young ladies, even the mother being a young lady herself, and the talent that's been given, there's no other place that could come from but from the Almighty God. And we give thanks to Him and we give thanks to them for coming out tonight and sharing it. They could keep it closed up just as she was talking about earlier. God give them something. They could have went another direction. Country music would have loved to have had them. <laughs> they could have probably even done rap. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, with a talent like that, who knows what they could have done. But they didn't surrender to Satan. They give that talent to God and God had given them. So what, what she was saying earlier, and I'd like to add to that too, is whatever gift God's given us, Let's not hide it. Let's not use it for our self-gain. Let's take it and share it. Let's take it and use it for His glory. Let's give it back. And I, I know many of you, I'm looking out, you're already doing that. And I thank each one of you all that are doing it. Thank you. Because there's treasures in heaven waiting for you. So we uh, give all y'all the thanks for coming out. Thank you for bringing your families out. We appreciate it. This is what we do this for. This is what our family drives nails, puts stuff up out here for families to come out and enjoy. Uh, and our enjoyment comes from you all coming out. So it's a, it's a joint effort with families and friends that does this. It's not one person. It's one person at a time doing what God's given them the ability to do out here. So I want to throw that commercial in. But uh, right now, We'd like to uh, take up an offer. 100% goes to these ladies' ministry. We'll, we'll take it up, whatever you feel to give. We're not telling you have to give. We're not uh, pleading or begging for anything. We're just saying if, if God's laid it on your heart to give something, we're going to pass some buckets around. If you all give what it is, we're going to pass it off because we trust God's going to take it and give it. So, at this time, I'm going to ask the, my brother Steve here. I always put him in the spot and people <laughs> grab some buckets. I got my friend Dave over here. He's already got some buckets. If they'll uh, grab them, I'd like to uh, ask the blessing there that uh, this food this, uh, starts to say food and no food. We're even talking about the blessing of the, the money that's going to be taken up to be used to bring glory to Him. So, let me pray to him. Uh, before I get hit with the buckets. Yeah. You got it. I was going to use the wash tub. <laughs> Father, we thank you for, once again for allowing us to come out. Father, we thank you for the talent that's been presented here tonight. Father, this time as we come and take up this money, Father, we pray that it will trust that you will multiply it. Father, that you will use it to share the gospel and the message that you are putting in the hearts of the fine ladies family here. We're asking this money to be used to carry their ministry to other places. Father, that your will be done. We ask your blessing for the moment. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.